geometry, real short, real fun. You follow in this like little red ball through its life question mark or just through what is going on. I love how it plays with music and movement and how you just meld together and you know some people see the world and like interact with it through music and I think that something like that is such a great way of like showing that like anything you come in contact with can be that, can be that fun, can be that like interactive. Yeah, it brought back a lot of um uh, animations like Fantasia and mm -hmm. um, 1950s cartoons, where it just just it gives you that feeling, that flavor of just it's just it's just a red dot, but it's trying to live, it's mm -hmm. trying to have a fun life, and all these things that come in, and it's just a wonderful use of music to go along with it, and wonderful use of geometry being moved around just to understand the music. So mm -hmm. I felt it, you know, it was kind of fun. Yeah, is it running? Is it chasing? Who knows? Life's ups and downs. You never know what tomorrow brings. But I also looked at it, and uh, for me, it's um, running true to like the stock markets and how it controls our entire lives. And I think most people don't care about what's happening in Wall Street, but that's such a typical, you know, the way I, I saw it, you know, markets going up and down, the commodities and the shadow banking, and everything happening behind the iron. The, the, Iron curtain. So that was interesting to me. Well, I also enjoyed that one, and one thing that I enjoyed was just the use of music in the piano playing mm -hmm. as the, the red dot, you know, went on its path. And there was this one scene where it was creeping, and the piano was, you know, playing along with the, the creepiness mm -hmm. of, you know, him like moving like this. And mm -hmm. it, it kind of reminded me of an old uh, Disney movie, 101 Dalmatian, like the opening scene. Yeah. It really brought that, tied that, because I used to watch that a lot as a, as a kid, and yeah, it just brought that memory back to me, so I enjoyed that piece. Yeah, I thought it was really fun as well. I wasn't really sure what to make of it, but when I was watching it, I couldn't just shake this feeling in the back of my head. It just really reminded me of like the opening credits of like this 1960s spy thriller kind of movie yeah, as well. Yeah, That's yeah. Co co coupled That's with the visuals and like the jazzy mm -hmm. score or whatever. That's just, I was waiting to see some opening credits or something with Michael Caine yeah. or something, I don't know. <laughs> Okay, we are going to move on.